Hello my ghouls and ghouls and welcome back once again to more Resident Evil Zero. Now on our last episode I had done a couple of things and then eventually I died. Today before starting the video I've completed those things. I'll show you in the over here in the map all the right side. We have been to all those rooms, killed the slug monsters. We are both pretty wounded now unfortunately. But uh you know, we got everything, <laughs> which is the important thing. This way. Roger. Now, the only thing that I'm missing is I don't have any more fuel, unfortunately. So that's going to be a problem. Let's see. Rebecca is going to take this blue herb with us. But I had to leave here to make a little bit of a space on the inventory. Give me just a second. All right. I'll go check over there. Okay. Actually. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go together. So we have one more tablet that we can leave on the uh, what to call it the telescope room definitely looks like a tele telescope to me but i'm not entirely sure then we have another one that i'm pretty sure we can only access once we get the battery but i'm not sure where am i gonna get a battery to replace the one in the piano room in the bar right, I still have to, to find out about that anyways let's leave this one here and then yeah we are only missing one so <clears throat> with that knowledge in mind is there anything doesn't seem to be any place that we haven't been to so the only thing that I'm can I access other maps uh, you can wow <laughs> I didn't see that that you could actually uh, you know zoom in the map all right great perhaps I don't think so though. Ah uh, now if we take the now if we take it then the room closes. I mean, I'm gonna have to go back there just to try. But I don't wanna go back because there might be another slack monster and I don't have anything else to defend myself with. Alright, let's just give it a try. What I'm thinking is I leave Rebecca inside. She takes the battery and the door will close. But I assume if Billy sounds the piano again, the door is not going to open because it's missing the battery. But I'm not entirely sure. So the piano room. OK, we enter and then the second door. This time, because I was curious, I tried to play the piano first with Rebecca, and indeed she didn't know how to play the piano. And I ended up getting an achievement for it called, called uh, Calm the Zombies' Nerves, something like that. All right, so let's see if this theory is going to work. If, I'll go check over there. Yeah. If Rebecca goes and takes the battery. She doesn't have anything else. Let's give this to Billy for a second. So if Rebecca goes, gets the battery, this is going to close. Okay. Then I assume 
that even if Billy sounds the piano, it's not gonna work. Well, I'll take back what I said then. Alright, so it does open. Alright, let's get out of here. Now, the problem is gonna be, am I gonna get another slack monster when we go out? Because that will suck. This way. Roger. So we need Rebecca to be idle because I don't want her to attack. If there's another monster, we just need to run. Alright. <clears throat> now I know where I have to go then. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing. Good, 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 good. I don't know. I was uh, really convinced that the door was going to open due to the power of the battery, but I'm glad to find out that that's not the way because otherwise I wouldn't know where the hell would I have to go. The good thing is that we have two healing items that we're going to have to use very soon because we're both really, really hurt. In fact, I'm thinking if I should even bring Rebecca with me. Or if I should leave her behind. Now, I used the fuel that I had here. I, I would swear that I had more than three fuel. Turns out that I only have three. I hope nothing got screwed up and, you know, I had more than three and ended up, I don't know, getting consumed. Because, yeah, that will be pretty bad. Okay, so if we leave this here, can we leave the bottles as well? We can. Is there anything else that we need to leave? Well, we could leave the plant, but I don't think... There's another space in the room for the plant. Is it? No, there's not. All right. Well, I'm sure we're gonna use... Uh, I was thinking if I should take... I'm pretty sure I still have one... Um, one shotgun shell in this one. I do. Alright, I'm gonna take it because I'm gonna have one free space from the battery. So, <clears throat> just in case that we need it. Let's hope we don't die because I don't really feel like doing, <laughs> like doing everything again. Okay, there shouldn't be enemies here. Now. Rebecca, I believe you have the battery, yes. Perfect. Use the lift, yes. Okay. Can she? You stay here. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second there. Can she push this thing? She can. Good girl. I don't know. There's another achievement, but I'm not sure if Follow I. Follow me. Okay. Not sure if I got it already. To have Rebecca push something that was too hard for her, but I don't remember if I got it. But, you know, if Billy can do it, then let's have him do it. I hope I'm not... Mm, I think I'm gonna have to take the hook weapon. Because I don't think we're gonna be close enough. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Let's go. Just a tiny bit here. Okay, good. 
I'll check it out. Okay. Yeah. Let's take one second there, Rebecca, please. Perfect. Now, Billy is taller than Rebecca, so I think it's better if Billy tried to do this. Maybe he can reach it. He doesn't have any space. Can you give? Come on. Okay. Can you give the herb to Rebecca? There's something there. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I don't think <clears throat> there's anything else we can do with that box in the uh, upstairs. I don't remember if there was something upstairs. Okay, let's do it. Let's split up. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, let's have Rebecca use one second the battery. Okay. Was there anything up here? Mm, no, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, there's nothing. All right. So, obviously... Yeah. Obviously, we can use this to... To get quicker to where we have to go. But I want both of them to be together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save because I'm pretty sure that something might happen. I don't know, this might be paranoia, but I think I've, this way. Okay. I think I've played enough Resident Evils to know that when you do a big puzzle, something happens. I don't know if, you know, a monster fight or a, a big boss fight or something, but I don't want to be caught with my pants down. And we haven't found anything to open. Pretty sure there's a magnum in there. But we haven't found anything that tell us the possible combination. Can you lift this here now? You can. All right, then Rebecca is gonna save. I'm thinking if I should take the the grenade launcher with me. Let's save. So which one am I gonna... This is the one for today. Alright, so we'll save here. Man, 12 saves already. <laughs> and there's people that finish this game without saving even once. Oh man. I'm even running out of saving uh, inks, I think. I think I only have one left, right? Oh, that was the last one. Okay. What was the last one? All right, we're gonna leave this here. And just in case, because I don't wanna be, like I said, caught by surprise. Let's go, Rebecca. We both have healing items. I got a shotgun. You got a grenade launcher. We should be able to deal <coughs> with whatever we find. If we end up fighting something, for all I know, we might not end up finding anything. And I've just been paranoid all along. But we have we have entered every single room now, I believe. But that's the problem. If we have entered every single room. Where do I find? Where do I find what tells me how to open? How to open that magnum thing? Is 
stripping agent yeah we got this but that i don't know microfilm image no inmates list no management training no i believe there's nothing there's nothing here that will tell us how to open it perhaps the next room i don't know Maybe to towards the end, I'm just thinking, why should I find a combination towards the end? Okay, so the tower has gone down, then this door is gonna go into a new place. So, uh, I'm not sure which room, what I'm looking at. Ah, oh, because it's locked from here now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this... How do I move them? Out? Okay, here is where I fought the big uh, centipede. centipede. So if I come out here. I can hear something. Is this a new place that we have to go? I'm not sure. Probably. But let me think one, one second. Yeah, I think that might be the new place that we have to go to. The music was new as well, so okay. No, no. What is that sound? Dogs? No, birds. Birds. Ah, oh, no, bats. Okay, I do remember. I do remember this place. This is the bat monster. Okay, is this some kind of puzzle? This is a puzzle. Alright, so. All right, so that opens the main door. Now, is there anything around here? I shouldn't be running when I don't know what's around the corner now that I think about it. Okay, it's locked from the other side. This doesn't seem to be getting any power. Alright, so I'm assuming I don't remember, but I think I fight the boss in there. If that is the case, then Billy needs to go in there. With one healing item? Mm. Okay, well, I just saved. So if I die, then... Alright. Okay, yeah. Bill is the one that has to do this. So, Rebecca. Stay here. I'll go. Yeah. Billy goes. And 
Let's hope for the best. There's an altar here. Despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. Maybe I'm wrong and I don't actually fight the boss now and it was just paranoia. Like I mentioned last time, that's the problem of replaying a game that you don't really remember. You remember some things, but not exactly when they happen. Saving items, beautiful. If I had known, I would have saved here. All right, saving items, more, more grenades, more shotgun shells. So yeah, plenty of stuff here. Now I'm not gonna save again because we're gonna need need these things. What? Does that mean that there's nothing here? Sorry. The bookshelf, lie, the bookshelf lies in total disarray. Someone was evidently looking for something here. I'm not sure. Does that mean that if I go out now... We fight? We do. All right, so. I don't remember how to fight this boss. Yeah. All right, good. Then caution. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, how much, how much did that hurt? Still on caution. You're good, Billy. Man, you're a freaking tank. Okay, good. You're in danger now, though. Ah, oh, really? Can I find this thing outside? Oh, I don't know. Oof. Can I? What a possibility. I can hear. If she goes, if she moves. Yeah, if she moves, that thing is gonna. Oh man, I hope I didn't. His health didn't reset. supposed to kill those little bats I suppose I'm gonna have to use the, the gun yeah I'm gonna have to use the gun probably yeah, I should have taken the bullets yeah all right the little bats are gonna be more of a problem than the big one I don't have any more healing items. Wow. Okay, that's one. Good. That's not good. I'm gonna have to do it like this. Ah! Freaking butt! Ah! 
Ah, okay. Okay, that's another one. One caution. Ah! Good. Ah, it's just, um... Yeah, this is a real problem. Uh, if I could get a couple of them. Okay, I'm on danger. I'm gonna have to go outside, but I don't think I'm gonna survive. No, I didn't. Great! Alright, so we are on the hall. Thankfully, didn't lose a whole lot. But yeah, the problem is the small ones. I'm not sure how to deal. Not sure how to deal with the small ones. So Rebecca is leaving this here. Because I'm gonna have to save on that room just so, you know, if I die again, I don't have to come back here. There's gotta be a point <clears throat> in that room where I can just corner myself, maybe, and kill the bats easier. Because if I'm right in the open, then that's gonna make things a lot, di a lot more difficult. So I'm thinking maybe right next to the door where where you save. But yeah, if I had known, I, ha I would have saved right over there. That way, I didn't have to do this again. And I don't expect to get a good ranking out of this playthrough anyways, so I think I'll give it another save just so... Just so I don't have to redo everything. So I'll go alone. Okay. Rebecca. I don't know, will the bat not come outside? I don't know. Because the other ones don't work. So, I need to. I need to go like this. Why? But I kind of remember the the bat coming outside. All right, so let's give it a save here, just so if I die, I don't have to redo everything again. You get three saves per ink, I think, right? Yeah.
All right, so I'll continue here. So, I think I kind of need more, well, I need a healing item, but I think I kind of need more um, bullets for the pistol than stuff for the shotgun, because the small ones were really the ones that were giving me the most trouble. All right, so. Can't see anything here, though. That's good, that's good. That's good. And there they come. Oh, that's a lot, man. Still on caution, okay. A little bit. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> I was doing really well, though, there. I was doing really well. There was only two bats left, two small ones. Didn't, didn't check my health. I still think I'm gonna need to go outside and get some healing items from, from Rebecca because I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to do this. with one healing item, though I don't know. Billy is pretty strong. <clears throat> Thinking also something... Good. 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 Come on. All right. I need to not yet. Ah. Good. Come on. All right, now I need to heal. There's only one battle left. Small one. Good. Oh, that was a good place. <clears throat> All right, come close now. Nice. Oh, he doesn't have any more bats. Shit. Ah, don't waste them. Good. Okay, he's got a small one. Ah, no, he's got a couple now. He's got a couple. Really, I'm gonna have to use shotgun shells on freaking small bats. Wow, no, 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 that's a few too many. No, I need to get out of here. Okay. If she comes, if she comes, this gets locked. Okay, I need bullets. Okay. 
Why do I think that he comes out? If I leave a knife here, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be heavy enough to... Is it? I don't even think you can. and leave it there. Alright, so Rebecca needs to stay here. And Billy is gonna just have to tank it like he was doing before. Which he was doing pretty good. And this... Ah, shit! I'll check it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just hide in the corner, kill the bats with the pistol. Just hope that his health is not, you know, uh, re resetting every time I go outside. Because that would really suck. Well, that was lucky. Awesome, he didn't have a whole lot of health left. But now I'm full. Yeah, I need uh, Rebecca to come take everything. Uh, does he come back to life? Uh, no, I, I don't know. By God's. It looks like you could use something to get up there. That's definitely the hook weapon with Rebecca. If you're gonna stay dead, Pat. Really hope so. Really do. Okay, Rebecca will have to go inside. Wait. Doesn't... We don't need it anymore? We don't. Okay, that's convenient. Let's regroup. Okay. So when the bat dies, we don't need to deal with the door locking anymore. Let's hope you stay dead. And that's what I mean by you need to know what to expect because if you know you're gonna need the hook weapon now you could have uh, I guess brought it with you all right you should have another space to carry everything now we have to go get the hook weapon come back hopefully no enemies on the way I'm glad that we still have one Healing, uh, healing item. So we are not totally in the shit. Okay. Uh, you carry that. And I'll carry the armory. Ah, there's no, yeah, there's no more bats around here. I don't know why, but I have really, really the feeling that that's not the last time that we're going to see the bat. Of course. Oh shit, monkeys. Now uh, she's in idle. Okay, attack. Ah. 
Monkeys. <coughs> oh, bueno. Okay, total waste. But <coughs> excuse me. Alright, I'm on caution and she is still on caution, so she didn't take a whole lot of damage. Now where are we? We are okay, okay, okay. Hmm, perhaps. Nah, no, I was thinking perhaps it was alone that I came along this way. But coming along, I could also have been killed by the monkeys. Because they are dangerous as hell. Well, now they are dead, so hopefully they don't come back. And there's no enemies in this room. Which has become my <laughs> my um, box room where I leave all my stuff now let's see we don't have any more fire we're gonna leave everything here like that let's see if I can keep this a little bit organized can't leave this. Well, crap. Okay, I don't really see myself using... I think if I'm gonna use the, um, the grenades, it's probably going to be the fire before anything else, because I expect to see more slug monsters. So, can we leave the... No, we are full. And I came here because I needed the hook item, which is here, the hook shot. Perfect. So if Rebecca is going to use the hook shot, she's going to need some healing. I believe she has one. <clears throat> okay, give the knife to him. I don't know if I should get the shotgun as well from him. Sending her away with only a pistol, I uh, don't really... No, wait, she was able to leave the ink? Okay. Alright. just feels like you need to save every, every every 10 minutes okay we are going out from here We don't need more the hook shot after this. It makes sense that the shotgun will take two spaces, but it's really a pain in the ass. Yeah, every any weapon that is big, I don't remember exactly if the other if the other Resident Evil work work like that because it. It's been ages since I last played it, but I think the shotgun took only one place. All right, <clears throat> Rebecca. If I send you up there with a shotgun as well, you are not going to have space to use anything, but... Maybe you get attack and then you need to use your healing item, I don't know. Climb down the ladder will do. 
just wanted to have a yeah you can't really see anything i wanted to see if there was a like a cool view <coughs> so nobody nobody oh a red uh, if I only had a if I only had a blue one this thing works the circuit breaker appears to be supplying power to the elevator lift the handle yes if I hadn't wasted so many green herbs what's this the door is now unlocked Does she still have the hook? Uh, yep, yeah, she does. Or right, Billy can take that. He's inside. Don't really feel like carrying, carrying the hook shot. You say this is where I will think I need to go back, lift the hook shot again in the main room so I have enough space to. Explore. Let's regroup. Roger. All right. Well, we're gonna carry at least the red herb just in case we find a green one. Then I feel like we have plenty, plenty of weapons and ammo. Let's see what we find down here. any noises so that's good you can see a set of stairs leading up but they've been collapsed and can't be used can we read this <coughs> uh, no it doesn't seem like it don't know how much I like to go into a room and don't hear a single footstep. Not yet, anyways. Yeah, Rebecca's not... Uh, are you gonna stand up? You are not, at least now, but I know you will. This bookshelf contains a number of books about about viruses the titles are all unfamiliar to you what about if i do it with her bookshelf contains a number of books about viruses all right so that maybe she will um recognize something you're gonna stand up so sure of that The shelf is full of biology books. So, healing, uh, saving item. Do we have a... No, we left it downstairs. If I use this, I assume he's gonna stand up. A simple elevator chute for transporting items. It appears to be connected to the operating room. Send something to the operating room. Not yet, but... We will have to use it. All right, so I think we are definitely gonna have to come back here. Let's read this paper. <coughs> Marcus Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. 
but it won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide, I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. Marcus Diary 2. We did find the... Um, the notes on how to make stripping agent. Now, can you use the hook shop here? You can. But that means you are alone. Can't hear anything, that's good. But you can't carry anything either. Oh man, I will really... Don't tell me that I'm gonna need this right now. I am, of course! God damn it! When you go down there, through the hole, you can see the lower floor, but it's too dangerous to climb down there. That's it, I'm screwed. I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Okay. So I can just run to a door. Run to the door, run to the door. There's a map, there's a map. Okay, we got a map. Get out. Okay. <clears throat> Peering down, you can see a set of stairs below. It's too dangerous to climb down from here. There's a button. Press it. Really? Uh, Billy, you have... you do. Don't want you to take damage, but you can deal with that thing. You could deal with the other one as well. It's a good thing that I brought the fire with me. Okay, one... Two... Three. I took... I'm on caution. Okay. Ah, uh, I hate these monsters. The paintings depict a woman embracing a demon. Oh, I could have... Looks like some kind of chemical. You need a container to carry it. Okay, I thought I could shoot this and hurt the slack uh, monster. I don't really have anything to heal myself with. I need... Wait a second. Wait a second. No, but there's no way that I can... Now, if I use this thing, where does this go? Rebecca didn't find... Fun downstairs. This must go up. And that means that it's probably behind the slug monster can't kill the slug monster with Rebecca because she doesn't have a weapon. And that's also counting with the fact that this thing goes up there. I'm not even sure. Okay. She had some bottles with her. So let's have a look at this. This door is decorated with a bust of Marcus as a space in the base for some kind of object. Ah, you can't really heal yourself. That's a huge problem. So you're gonna wait here. Rebecca. I really wish that you could find a set of stairs to go down again.
This is where Billy is. Does this mean that if I go there, well, there's a saving room over there. Healing items, healing items, a bottle, okay, so leave this here one second, take that bottle, I'm getting a lot of um, saving items now, so you take that, take this, you are definitely going to take some damage. But you can take one hit at least from that monster. I'm sure of it. I need to clear it because I need to know what's in that room. If that's the room with the elevator for the items, I need that room clear. So she's probably going to be able to take one hit and then she'll have to heal. Maybe I should have saved before that because I'm getting plenty of items. Okay. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. You are dead. Oh, man. God damn it. Oh, there's a bottle here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay, another bottle. More fuel. And now I'm full. That is a little bit of a problem. Okay, we can go back down, so let me see if there's anything important in this room. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. Yes. One of the capsules is glowing. Can't carry this item now. Okay, this room is obviously important. These capsules contain human specimens. Each has a look of great suffering on its face. The shelf contains a large number of chemicals. The labels are so dirty that you can't tell what's inside. Okay. Now, not sure if the monster is gonna be there again. I'm gonna leave this here one second. And I'm gonna get that thing. Because that thing is obviously important. And I don't wanna come back here if I don't have to. So, take the Lich Capsule. Yes. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing else. There is a paper, I just saw a paper. There's a computer here, it doesn't turn on when you press the power button. Laboratory Manager's Diary. Today, under Director Mar Marcus' orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director's alone it. He isn't married and he sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? Got the laboratory manager's diary. Some kind of internal organ appears to be inside. The shelf is full of capsules containing various specimens. I don't think there's anything else. Yes. The statue's upper body has been smashed to bits. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a, a, a little bit of inventory management here. I press this again. There's no need to press it anymore. Okay. Yeah, 
but I need to do a little bit of inventory management. This is a saving room, so... I'm gonna leave everything that is not important here. But this is obviously important, but I'm not sure when it's gonna become important. If I can just find... If I can just find where the... Okay, let's go inside here one second as well. It's locked. You can't open it. Locked. You can't open it. Didn't I see a hole in the map? Yeah, there is a hole in the map, so you can access it from downstairs, I suppose. Let's take the ink and leave it on the ground. Let's go with the shotgun. we going that one um, let's try this one this one is a smaller one. Oh wait I also need to I don't know if this is a safe room so forgive me <laughs> let's leave everything on the room that I know it's most likely going to be safe from monsters which is this one. Okay. Poor Rebecca, she's been hurt for the whole episode, basically. I just don't have the means to... Well, I have the means, but I need to save. It's locked. Alright, so that um, takes away the choice of where to go. I want to say a good thing that she has the shotgun, but... Okay, I can't hear anything apart... Oh man, that's a lot of zombies. Yeah, definitely a good thing that she has the shotgun. Are you guys gonna stand up? And if you do, six shotgun shields should take care of you. It's been replenished with fresh bioorganic fluid. The surrounding equipment is running. Okay, you are not standing up right now, which is good. There's a paper over there. Oh, oh you motherfucker! So you were alive. Okay, well, this one is dead now. The shelf is filled with various lab equipment. Everything looks very well used. Leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Administrated tea into four leeches. Their will, their will to survive leads them first to paras parasitism and predation. Then they breed and multiply. Such a single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards, no major changes observed. February 10th, 1978. Seven days since administration of tea. Rapid growth to double former size. Signs of transformation emerging. Spawning successful. They double their numbers in one hour. But their ravenous appetites leads them to cannibalism. Hasten to increase food supply, but lost two. March 7th, 1978. Provided them with light feet, but lost half when the live food fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experience and are beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They are also ceasing cannibalism. Their evolution is exceeding expectations. April 22nd, 1978. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior. Even when not feeding, they move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with remarkable efficiency. April 30th, 1978. An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? 
June 3rd, 1978. A day worthy of commemoration, today they began to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children, no one will take you away. You got Leech Growth Record. Alright, so obviously this... This um, paper has the combination that the other paper was talking about. Now, are you going to stand up? Suppose I can take one bite if you... No. Okay. Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. Yes! You put the red chemical in the mixing set. It appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Yeah, we can't go. It's full of poisonous gas, so the safety lock has been activated. Okay, so there's something in there that we need. There's a zombie here that is going to stand up eventually. I'll take the shotgun shells. Because that way, if I leave it somewhere, I know they're going to be there. Okay. Let's hope there's nothing here that's going to kill me. Oh, I found... Okay, great, great, great. Oh, shit. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, I think this is time for a shotgun. Oh, shotgun! Nice. Nice. Yeah. Don't really want to waste. Okay. Ah. Can't really see the guy. Okay, okay, you are done. Fun. You're dead. You're dead. Okay. Alright. <laughs> good, Rebecca. Good. This operating table has been overturned. It looks like it happened recently. <coughs> looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. The red chemical is already in your mixing set. Add the chemical. Uh, okay, wait a second. I had the red, the red chemical. I think it was this one. Green plus red stripping agent. Stripping agent. I saw that somewhere. Was it here? Special stupid agent. Okay, so I need to use this one. Okay, at the chemical, the green chemical and red chemical has been mixed to form a stripping agent. Perfect. The sink is old and rusty. It's also covered in filth. Another paper. Investigators report. Dr. Marcus, co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The result of his research have, have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the training facility run by Dr. Marcus. Well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. We understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus' research into the T-virus prototype called Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as Guinea as Guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subject, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation's secret safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes. His experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. 
The rest of the notebook pages are missing. Investigators report. There is some kind of mysterious thing on the operating table. What mysterious thing? Hmm. This investigator was part of Umbrella or... Okay, so there is a healing item there that I want. Let's see. If I give... Are we gonna be separated all the time? This door is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space on, in the base for some kind of object. Okay, so obviously, let's have a look at the, have a look at the map. We can't enter there. We can't enter the other place. The other door over there is locked. So now it's time for Billy. Now Billy needs a healing item. So I'm gonna send this to Billy. <coughs> Billy, you are down here. Billy, you are gonna take also a red. No, not the red. Um, this one, green. You're gonna send this over to Rebecca. Okay. Ah, he's dead enough. Okay, you got the knife. So. Okay, come on. Hit a couple times with the knife. Come on. Shit. Ah, shit. Okay, I took a bite. I'm still on caution though. I'm good. Save a couple bullets. So, if I leave this here. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. I leave that. <laughs> I take the first aid. <clears throat> and I was just talking to my friend Tom. On the last episode about the about the um, inventory management in, in every Resident Evil, okay, we put that over there. I think Rebecca is gonna be the one to keep most things. in the in the safe room okay put this down there Billy now it's gonna send also the red one so she can mix it It's a bit of a shame that he doesn't know how to how to mix the herbs. Actually, I haven't tried, but I did say that he didn't know how to how to mix stuff. I believe. Let's combine it with this. Okay, so now we have. <clears throat> I'm thinking, where did I leave my shotgun shells? Put them here on the ground. Should be ah oh, right there. So take the shotgun shells. There's also a healing item here that I need to remember. Okay. 
Billy have... Should I send this one down to Billy as well? He might... He might find trouble down there. Hell, he should keep the shotgun as well. Oh, man. Okay, let's do it like this. I think uh, Rebecca has done her fighting now. She's gonna send. The item is too large. Oh, wonderful. Well, Billy. Hmm. It's a bit of a problem. Right. Rebecca's gonna stay here for a second. Billy. Let's see. Might as well. Put this one in there. So she can take it. <clears throat> we'll have a look at the door. At the door down, down here. I guess we didn't really need to kill this guy. But I don't know where he will have been every time that I enter the room. Okay, so let's have a look here. We got this room. Then we got another room here that is locked. They are both locked. Yeah, this one is locked. This one. There's a device for entering a combination. But it's missing a part and can't be used. Okay. Now I get it. So, leech growth. So, if it's four, double the numbers in one hour. Is there any more? Rather than with it, but lost half. Let's see. If I take this like it is, four. And then you double the numbers. Can I write this thing down? Because I'm not sure if if it's gonna be four numbers or three numbers. Okay. Four. Ten. You double the numbers. So it's eight. Then you lose two, so it's six. And then, right at the end with life feed, but lost half, and they leave. So you lose half a steel, that means three. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be all to the right, or four to the right, eight to the right, and then six to the left, and three to the left. We'll see how it is. <clears throat> There's a device entering a combination, but it's missing a part. Oh, it's missing a part and can't be used. Wait, it's missing a part. So how the hell am I supposed to use it? Is there anything that we haven't? Hmm. a bit weird okay <clears throat> let's go back to Rebecca then Rebecca you're gonna leave this here I'm gonna leave this here <clears throat> this this thing should stay here and not disappear Then you take the other healing item. Perfect. It said that there was some mysterious thing here, but I'm not... I don't know. The stripping agent. 
stripping agent used to weaken the grip of certain types of material. Hmm. Can't use it in the thing here, can we? There's, there is some kind of mysterious thing on the operating table. Can we use it here? No. All right, well, you are going out. The zombie might stand up now. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm, okay, doesn't seem like it. I'm not gonna get closer. Just gonna leave him chill there for... for a moment. This thing on the ground... Can I pick this thing? Mm. Okay. Ah, there's another red. Forgot about that. There's another red herb downstairs. Okay. Take this. So, leave this here. Lift this here. I have to go back there to pick up everything up. Damn it. Okay, you got space. Oh dear God. <laughs> Anyways, this thing says it's missing something and upstairs it seemed like there was something um with a circular shape on the ground i don't know if she can actually pick that okay we're gonna put the herb in there Then you get a lot of things. Too many things, actually. Thinking if you take this now, you're still gonna have to leave one healing item on that room because it's too much stuff. Back and forth, back and forth. So, can you pick this thing? That thing on the ground? Can you pick that? Can that even be picked? No. I suppose it would be... It would be shining if it could be picked. It definitely looks suspicious though. Maybe I can make a chemical for the gas. Where are the things that are left here? Did they disappear? Oh man, I got scared there for a moment. Where are they though? Ah, oh, okay, I couldn't see them straight away. Wow. <laughs> got scared there. Okay, we take this. We got plenty of healing now. Just need to be careful with it. Take one healing item. And I take shotgun shells. Then there's another healing item here, right? Yeah, another herb. So. I'm thinking Was it here? When we reopen the facilities we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. 
sulfuric acid stripping agent I don't think the stripping agent is gonna be used in the room with the gas and I don't think I can put it all right give me a second you're gonna stand up now I know you're gonna stand up eventually this thing some kind of chemical put it in the mixing set stripping agent is already in your mixing set I don't know can I can I put this Appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. I haven't found anything to use the stripping agent on, I think. The door over there... The door over here was locked. The door over here was locked. I don't remember what with. This door over here was locked as well. If I go down here, if I go down there, there's nothing here, right? No, up there, uh, yeah. Rebecca got up there with the hook shot. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Can't do anything over here. That can't be used because it's missing something, and here you need to put an object. So Billy can't do anything. Obviously, this is Rebecca's turn. Okay, I'll put it in the mixing set. The red chemical and the stripped agent have been mixed to form a green chemical. What does the green chemical do? The container is filled with a green chemical. It appears to have neutralizing effects on poisons. Ah, so can I put it here? And then that guy behind me is going to stand up. Right? Oh, beautiful. Did you use it? Wait, what? Oh, no. She used it on... yeah, she used it. So it's like a neutralizing poison for you. Red chemical. All right. There's gotta be something that I'm missing here. Hmm. Well, now I need the green chemical again. The, the red one, sorry, to make the stripping agent. This is a little bit annoying. Wait, is there a bottle in there next to the sink? The sink is old and rusty, it's also covered in field top. No. Put them rusty covered in filth. Stripping agent used to weaken the grip of certain types of materials. Okay. Not understanding anything. There's supposed to be a mysterious thing operating the table. You obviously can't use it here. Wait. You don't put the leech that I found in the... Oh, okay, wait a second. Let's go there. 
that will also give me the chance to fix a little bit more of the inventory but yeah now that i'm thinking about it could that be i totally forgot that i took a thing i believe it has a leech inside but i'm not sure Yeah, that thing on the ground. I totally forgot about that. Alright, so if I leave this healing item... Right. Then I take this. Leech capsule. So what's wrong with this capsule? The capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. Okay. So we combine it with this. B leech charm. Alright, that's what I have to use. B leech charm. So is this for hair? Or for Billy. Yeah, who designs these things, man? <laughs> really? Who the hell? Who the hell makes this place and that? Anyways, we go here. And it'll be perfect because either it's for this door. Or it's for the one for B. Nothing happens. Maybe you are using the wrong key. Alright, so this is for Billy then. Billy is using that. We are taking the healing item here. So how are we looking? We are looking pretty good. Okay. That means that Billy will be able to enter whatever room he has to go to. But what I'm going to do now is go and save. <laughs> yeah, like like we talked on the last on the last episode in the comments, a lot of uh, a lot of um, inventory management. Because that's the thing. If you know what to expect, then you know I need this, I need that. You take it with you, and okay, we got six. You take it with you and don't have much trouble. But if you don't know what to expect. You bring the whole freaking armory with you. Okay, we're saving here. And I think this is a good point to leave it. Uh, the video is probably already like an hour and a half or something. And we have advanced a lot. I'm not sure how much left I have of the game, honestly. It's, uh, you know, obviously I don't know exactly what i'm doing otherwise it will be much shorter but right now i think i'm what is this video six maybe and each video has been one hour one hour and a half so definitely getting my time out of the game you know if you know what you are doing i know there's um or resident evil one there's Achievements to finish it in less than two hours, but you really really need to know what you are doing Anyways guys, I hope that you have enjoyed the video if you have you can leave uh, You can leave a comment down you can subscribe you can hit the bell to get new notifications since YouTube is a bit wonky with that And uh, yeah, I love if you leave your thoughts down there. I always Enjoy when I can get a little bit of a conversation With you guys that are taking some time of your day to watch the videos Without much else to say, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.
Till then, you have a great day or a great night.